the theme, what's important. What's important is paying our way in the world long term. That means balance. Selwyn talked about balance in the economy, and I'll touch on it on the next slide. But before I do, I want to just touch on what other people are doing. And again. So I don't know. You, 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 no, no, too far. You won't be able to read all that. I've got the papers if you want to see it. But basically, those colors represent what other people are doing to protect themselves from the depreciation of currency elsewhere. Missing from that graph, or that box diagram, is Switzerland, who a year ago imposed a hard ceiling on their currency against the euro, the US, who are busy into QE3 at the moment, and the UK, who are not quite sure what they're doing, but QA is going to happen next. So, so we sit here, and we've done one thing extra other than inflation targeting. So New Zealand's there. I don't know if you can point the New Zealand line out there, Selwyn, but it's somewhere in Asia Pacific. But, but New Zealand's done one thing, and it was there first, and that was around core funding ratios. We did that sort of at the early part of the crisis. But we stopped. We stopped debating, is there a crisis? We stopped debating, does it matter? We're seeing comments in the press that manufacturing is like everything else in the economy. Wrong. Manufacturing takes decades-long investment of people, skills, and money to win. We can lose it, and this is the irony, we can lose it quicker now because people are more efficient, there's no fat in the system, than we would at the start of the GFC. So if things slow down in the world now, and we've done nothing to protect ourselves, expect to see more of what we've started to see accelerating over the past couple of months. Policy objective. We need balance in the economy. We need a balanced current account. We need balanced investment incentives. Selwyn and I make decisions to invest, and he's absolutely right. We could probably have done better in the past 20 years in New Zealand investing in property. It's just that property is boring, really. But I didn't sign on for this much excitement. <laughs> the, the key last point there is we need to respond to the changing international environment and not say we can't and not say we don't need to. I was asked a question yesterday on radio, but we told there's not a problem in comparison to the US, in comparison to the UK, and then in comparison to Europe, maybe. In comparison to Switzerland, they're running a current account surplus, they run a tight economy, they pay high wages, and a year ago they moved to protect their economy. That's what we should be comparing ourselves with, not the US and the UK. Uh, I'm going to only go over this very quickly. What we need to do is rework the Reserve Bank Act on the basis of modern understanding. We should be targeting the current account as well as inflation. We should be rewriting the PTA on that basis. And we need to uh, give the Reserve Bank something of a shake-up in terms of the way it's constituted. So uh, Selwyn's going to close. How are we doing for time, by the way? <laughs>